Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so today we woke up to the uh, details of Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku's EZA. And he seems like he is going to be incredibly good. So I wanted to talk about his EZA, what he's going to do, what I think about it all. Uh, and I thought it would be a good opportunity to just jump in and show him off pre EZA while we talk about it rather than just having like the wiki page up or something. So. He pre EZA his passive is attack 120% and attack 20% per rainbow key sphere obtained. So obviously he hasn't really been usable in the meta for quite some time because he doesn't have any defense. And uh, his super attack was immense damage with a rare chance to stun. So not, not the best stun chance, but it was a kind of useful thing that could come in handy. Obviously he's the super tech uh, 120 leader. So... We're going to go ahead and jump in here. Let me just show you. He's on a lot of teams, which is one of the things that I think is really, really good. Um, it's going to help out a lot. Obviously, as a typical, quote-unquote, Super Saiyan 3 unit, uh, he has over in a flash, over prepared for battle, and then has things like limit breaking form, fierce battle. He has Saiyan lineage, Super Saiyan Golden Warrior, and Revival. So, pretty decent link set. Um, and, yeah, he's on a ton of teams. So, we're on the Margin Buu Saga team here. I think one of his best link partners is going to be this guy once he's transformed. Plus it gives me a chance to finally use the TN that I finally pulled since not having him since the worldwide celebration. Uh, so I've, I've been waiting to actually have this guy in my box for like 11 months. So I thought I might as well run this team so we can bring him along. So we need to get the rotation set up. So he's only got a couple of orbs here. Uh, I can get one rainbow orb for his... No, I can't because then he won't super attack. Uh, let me do this. Put you guys there. Do this. That should drop down. No, it did not. Great. So I can't even super attack with him on the first turn. Perfect. Um, all right. Well, there we go. Good, good start. <laughs> all right. So we'll go ahead and grab this. Let me get the details up here. So for his easy A, uh, his passive is going to become attack and defense 130%. So obviously straight away, key issue resolved, uh, add that defense in. And then instead of 120, both of them are bumped up to 130. So pretty good. Then he has a high chance to change a certain type of key spheres other than tech to rainbow key spheres. So he is a rainbow orb changer. This is going to be massively useful on a lot of the teams that he's on. And then, of course, also it makes him somewhat self-sufficient for rainbow orbs because obviously you want to be picking up as many of those rainbow orbs as possible so that you can actually get the um, massive attack bonus. But it's not just an attack bonus. So the icing on the cake is he gets attack and defense 30% per rainbow key sphere obtained. So the great thing about this is because it's on key sphere obtained and not like on super attack or something like that, it means that if you can pick up a bunch of the rainbow orbs, this Goku's actually going to be really good in slot one because his defense is going to be super high uh, when the attacks actually start flying his way. And then finally, another nice little added bonus, attacks effective against all types for the first seven turns from first appearance. So for the first seven turns, super effective against all types. That's obviously going to help you out in uh, any of the events like this one, for example, any Infinite Dragon Ball history where you are going to be fighting against uh, multiple different enemies of different typings. And then, yeah, Goku's just not going to have to worry about it for the first uh, seven turns. So you can see, obviously, where he's majorly lacking. Uh, 44k defense is pretty horrible. So we'll grab this and then... There you go, we can get four rainbow orbs, which is pretty rare, uh, considering we don't currently create any ourselves. So it'll be interesting to see what this attack stat is. Obviously, this isn't his best rotation, but four rainbow orbs is definitely not the most common. You're usually going to be able to pick up two, maybe three. Uh, 2.5 million. I mean, yeah, it's not terrible, but I guess to be fair, for a rainbow level 10 Lynx unit, obviously by today's standard, that's pretty bad. And then, yeah, 73k damage from a normal from Android 18. We do have type disadvantage, but, yeah, big hit from her. So, next turn, we are finally going to have our setup with um, the friend Goku. who's already transformed into Super Saiyan 3. Uh, sorry, the Int Goku. And then, yeah, we'll get this guy floated off. Because TN supports super tight Margin Buu Saga units. 30% attack, 50% defense. So obviously that extra defense is going to help out in uh, 
in this instance, his defense is still not going to be impressive. But imagine when you have this guy Easy Aid and you've picked up a bunch of the rainbow orbs. Each one gives you 30% extra defense. He's got 130% defense as part of his passive. And then you have somebody like this on rotation to give another 50% defense. So then he's going to be looking really good. So linked up with this Goku, uh, we have Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Over in a Flash and Fierce Battle. Wait, how does it, oh, limit break, I was going to say, how does this guy not have limit breaking form, but it activates, it's one of those links that activates on super attack, so, um, this is an awkward situation with the orbs though, so, I guess we just put you in slot one, grab the three orbs so you can get a potential chance to dodge, now we've got limit breaking form active, um, yeah, everything is active other than Revival now, so pretty good. We aren't going to get any Rainbow Orbs, so this is his, like, worst turn, essentially. We got good links active, but we got no support unit. We didn't get any Rainbow Orbs. Uh, the Goku, who is now Rainbow for me, the Int one, uh, just hitting a 3.7 here. And then the Tech one, two, 2 million, okay. I mean, 2 million without any Rainbow Orbs. Again, by today's standard, is not super great. But to be honest, I'm actually there's actually a little bit more than I was expecting. So if we can get one of these rotations where we've actually got support with him on the turn, and then we uh, actually can pick up some rainbows. So let me try and get see if we can actually have some rainbow orbs like down here. All right, we at least got one set up there. Because, yeah, that having the rainbow orb changer is obviously going to help so much. Because not only does it help other units, but obviously for him, needing to pick up rainbow orbs, it's going to be so, so useful to just create your own ones. Because you're going to have turns, like with the GT Super Saiyans, you're going to have turns where you're then just automatically going to be picking up, like, four rainbow orbs. And the damage that he's going to do is ridiculous. And then, you know, because you can't pick up loads of rainbow orbs at the same time, if you have created loads, because it only follows that one path, it then leaves all those other rainbow orbs behind for everybody else on the rotation to get set up in a, uh, a much better fashion. So we've got support. Uh, we can get one rainbow orb. So obviously this isn't giving us any extra defense. But with the support from TN... Yeah, 63. <laughs> 63k defense, not great. And then you got this Goku beneath him. has got like over 100k more defense than him. So, um, see what attacks that we can get. This should be the highest one that we've seen so far. Because we've got the support, the rainbow orb, all the links active. Yeah, 2.45. So, we need to pick up quite a few rainbow orbs if we even want to have a chance of making this guy over 3 million attack stat. We get the crit though and take out 16. So, not too bad. But yeah, overall, in terms of just seeing his easy A on paper, obviously you need to see it in the game and really see all of the uh, factors in play. But he definitely seems like he's top tier. It's too difficult for me to say, like, without seeing him in game. I'm not one of these people that can just look at his stats and do all the calcs, like, in my head or whatever. But it's hard to say on first glance whether he's on the level of the Super Saiyan 4s. But he definitely could be, uh, especially on, like... If you think about his best turn, so obviously this is going to be even more rare, even with Rainbow Orb changing, because the when you go to pick the path of orbs, it will always try and prioritize picking up an orb of any type of color. So it's like really difficult to pick up five Rainbow Orbs, because the way the Rainbow Fit Orbs are going to be spread out across the field, if there's any possibility that you can pick up like one or two colored ones, it will do that rather than pick up like a fifth Rainbow Orb at the top. So it's going to be very rare that you actually get the possibility of picking up like five rainbow orbs in one turn. But on that best turn with him, if you can pick up five rainbow orbs and you've got support in like slot three, um, I can imagine that his damage is going to be on the level of the Super Saiyan 4s. Because the thing you've got to remember is it's 30% attack and defense per rainbow orb as well. So if you're picking up like five orbs, it's 150% extra attack and defense on top of his passive being 130% attack and defense. And then actually, in fact, the other thing that I um, forgot to mention is on his super attack, uh, they've increased his stun chance to a medium stun chance to stun, which obviously is now 30%. But his super attack now also raises attack and defense for one turn. So if he double super attacks, then obviously that effect is doubled as well. So 
additional is definitely going to be the way to go for this guy. I wanted to try and line up some more rainbow orbs if we could, but it's only going to be the one here. Uh, we're getting the Dokon attack as well. We'll go ahead and... Uh, might as well go ahead and hit these, see if we can uh, one-shot the cell here. Our rainbow friend, uh, Goku and Vegeta. So yeah, the fact that he also raises attack and defense on super attack, like I say, if you can double super with him, then oh God, it's just going to be insane. Like, start of turn defense 130, 30% 30 per rainbow orb obtained, and then raises it on super attack. So he's going to be a unit that, even without picking up that many rainbow orbs, if you double super... He's going to be taking double digit damage in like most events in the game. And then of course, let's not forget like the nice little uh, super effective against all types for seven turns. Because that makes him even more valuable in uh, any event because you don't have to worry whatsoever about type disadvantage. So uh, final turn, we got no support here. So uh, not going to do anything too crazy. I really want to try and line up a big rainbow orbs turn, but... I think what we can do to sort of simulate the effect, I know it's not going to be exactly the same, but for his final turn coming up, which I think we have, will we have TN for that turn? Um, I did bring along the tech orb changing item, is it the Takayaki balls that give you the um, extra attack per uh, tech key sphere obtained. Look at all these rainbow orbs though, I need to try and avoid picking up any of these, so we're just going to grab orbs at the side here just do this so we're gonna get a lot of orbs here I'm gonna use the item hopefully it doesn't change the uh, rainbow orbs into uh, tech maybe I won't use it on this turn we'll see how many we can pick up but this could definitely be uh, definitely be a good turn for the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku coming up after this so not getting the big crazy supers we won't take out Cell this turn yeah no Cell's got plenty of HP um, and obviously High School Gohan, not the biggest damage dealing unit, whilst he is of course a fantastic unit. But So let's see, how many rainbow orbs is it going to let me get? So there's three here, uh, and there's two there, two there. So we'll go for the three of course. He's not attacking in slot one because he's healing. So we'll get three rainbow orbs here. We've got support. Um, so of course remember, post EZA, that's an extra 90% defense. So his defense is obviously going to be way higher than this, but this would have then shot up to being around about 110 just from picking up those orbs. And of course, remember, it's going to be way higher than this because uh, his passive currently gives him no defense. His post ECA gives him, what, 130? So start of turn, this would have been around about 130. And then we picked up three orbs, which is like 90%. So then his defense probably shoots up to over 200k. Just with three rainbow orbs. Uh, apparently I messed up the orbs with the in Goku, but that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, so let's see. What are we going to get here? Three rainbow orbs. Yeah, 2.8. So we weren't able to break him over 3 million attacks that in this uh, video. But I can very much imagine that post EZA, um, he's easily going to be hitting over 3 million. Even on like a bad turn. Just because of having the extra effect. Uh, of raising attack on super because even if you only super attack once you've still got that raises attack on super attack uh, Raises defense as well. So we were just saying his defense would have been what like 200k Then he would have raised defense on super attack as well um, So yeah, I can really see him being absolutely uh, Absolutely busted tier when he comes out. So I'm gonna go ahead on this next turn. We'll make this next turn the final turn. I am gonna use the tech item to change the orbs. Hopefully it doesn't get rid of all the rainbow orbs. And obviously it's not gonna be a realistic representation of what he can do now. And the stats probably don't match up to like, you know, this isn't an example of the numbers he will be hitting after the uh, EZA, but still, I know it'll be pretty fun to do. And Cell locks us in place. Fortunately, I remembered to bring an item so we can get around that. So we'll go ahead and do this, because um, then I can, there's a bunch of orbs here, if I do this, drop down like this, and then we'll go ahead and do this. Just don't get rid of all the rainbow orbs. Of course it did. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll just use it again, 
and go for maximum tech. It doesn't give you any extra damage, but yeah, it changes more orbs. So full field of tech orbs. Like I said, this isn't necessarily representative of exactly how his EZA is going to be because the stats are very different. 30% per rainbow orb and you're probably only ever going to be able to pick up like four is very different to 5% per tech orb and then picking up the entire field of tech orbs. But I wanted to see one big attack stat out of this guy in preparation for the attack stats that we're going to be seeing from his EZA. So let's see Goku. 5 million. There you go. This is going to be a common occurrence after his EZA. So let me know what you guys think of the details of Super Saiyan 3 Goku's EZA. I'm very excited. Do you think on paper he is the level of the Super Saiyan 4s? We actually got a double super turn here as well. So he would have looked even more ridiculous post EZA. So let me know what you guys think down below. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.